This is Lon Welsh at Your Castle Real Estate, and I want to talk to you about why this is a very exciting time to either become a landlord or if you are a landlord, to add a couple additional holdings to your portfolio. So I've got a separate video that talks about why we're not in a bubble and walks through what's going to happen for the next five years in real estate. So I won't re-go through all that now. Watch that video. The one highlight that matters to you as a prospective landlord is this one chart. And this shows you the average home price in Denver over the last 50 years with and without inflation. So the average home price increase over the last 50 years in Denver has been about 6%. And we expect, based on the forecast, the next five years are going to be about a 5% annual increase. So if you take the weighted average of all the homes and condos right now, they're selling for about a half million dollars. We would anticipate that in five years, it's going to be pretty close to $600,000. So what does that mean from an affordability standpoint for the renters? This chart on the x-axis on the bottom shows you the average home price in a bunch of different cities and the y-axis going up and down shows you what percentage of the citizens rent versus buy. So if you take a look at Denver in 2006 you can see our average home price if you can believe it was about $250,000 and that about 43 percent of the citizens had to rent. Now if you go forward to 2016 you can see the average home price went from about 240 to about 450, almost doubled, and the percentage of renters increased from about 43% to about 47%. And that's a very true relationship across the entire US. In the next five years, if we see the average home price go to 600,000, what will happen next? Well, we had forecast that we'll probably see 52% of people will have to rent. So compare that back to 2006, when 43%, that's like an 11% increase. If you take a look at the historical growth rate of the population in Denver Metro, it's going up about one to one and a half percent per year, and the percentage of renters is going to increase gradually over the next five years. If you do the math, it's 295,000 additional renters that we're going to create over the next five years. Given the constraints that we have on construction with land costs being very high, timber and other material costs are in the stratosphere, and cities are taking more and more time to approve permits, water tap fees are at all time highs. We anticipate that the ability to add incremental housing for the rental pool is gonna be constrained. So there's gonna be a lot of competition among those renters to find a place to live. Should mean very, very solid fundamentals for everything for vacancy and rent. It's a good time to be a landlord.